Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to The Real Legend of Gaming. And we are here with a cool episode, folks. So every month, the man Woody CR drops the card popularity snapshot. And a few times in the past, we've done a breakdown on what the top decks are. Again, like I always say, this report is amazing. And I always recommend you guys go check out Woody on his YouTube channel, his Twitter, and his Twitch, right? And I'll drop links in the description. In this report, Woody breaks down the most popular decks, and this is in collaboration with Starfire, another great app that can tell you what your win percentages are for when you're playing decks. And on a side note, you should download that as well. But what's cool about this app is that it will tell you what the top popular decks are, but based on this report that Woody provides, it also tells you what the top cards are in the latter. So, you know, it helps you look at that to determine what cards you need to counter. Or if you want to be a meta player, then you'll know what the most popular cards are to use. And if you don't want to create your own deck, then Woody provides examples of what the top decks are, along with photos and an explanation of the type of archetype that they are. So definitely recommend now we'll drop the link in the description again so we're gonna start off with the top five for this video and what I need you guys to do in the comment section is a couple things I need you to let me know what deck archetypes you're using and if you want to tell me why you like it I'll keep it positive I don't want to hear like oh it's the best because it's better than not like give me some real facts like why does it work for you what tips you're using because I want to gather all these tips here and make it so that other members of the community can learn from you guys as well how to play Clash Royale and how to get better, right? Because I know my deck's out, but I'm not a pro. And I know that most of us aren't either, right? Uh, we're seeing um, all these great folks over at CCGS killing it right now. So, you know, it's good to get an idea of what decks are being used, right? By these uh, masterminds. Now, another note, if there's a deck that you guys want me to feature in a video, Depending on what the levels of the cards are, I might be able to do that for you guys. Now, if it's something like a Tesla Tower or Expo, those are cards that I've never really used. I've never been a Siege Specialist. And there's also some rare cards that I've never really upgraded. So, it will take me a little bit longer to get those cards upgraded because right now my gold count is 32,000. But I'll be real honest with you guys. I'm trying to get my Musketeer to max level. So, I need 100,000 coins. And I'm not really a pay-to-play player, so it's going to take me a while. All right, so let's get right into what we're discussing here. We're going to start off with this deck, which is the Goblin Barrel Log Bait deck. So let's check it out, folks. All right, so the first deck here, starting off with the Goblins, you got yourself the Goblin Barrel which you already know is a very strong card. And I'll explain to you in a moment why this is no longer a zap bait deck. Um, we'll get into that, definitely. I'm gonna explain to you because some of these decks look familiar, but they might be one or two cards that are different than before. So there goes the Goblin Barrel, the Goblin Gang, the Princess, the Ice Spirit, the Knight, the Rocket, the Log, and the Tornado. I'm not gonna explain how these decks work, folks, because I, I'm gonna, kind of i don't want to assume right it's not good to do that but i'm sure that you guys know how to play clash royale already and you understand how each card works and if you don't then make a request down below and i'll definitely do that in the next video for you guys but i want to just strictly stick put my focus on the decks right here okay so that's the first one now the reason why this deck has a log now instead of zap before the zap no longer one shots the goblin barrel and, you know, unless it's like one or two levels higher, all you're going to do is just stun them, but they're still going to get hits in. And by the time your other towers get an attack on those goblin barrels, you're going to lose a decent amount of HP. And that's a card that you can ignore maybe once, possibly twice. But once it starts getting in on the third turn, it's going to get close to, you know, getting that HP down to zero. All right. So that's how that works. Now, um, notice that it has three spells. The trend now also with the cards is that a lot of people are using one low elixir spell 
uh, which will be the log in this case here, but you'll see in the other decks the zap is still popular. And then you'll have um, one expensive spell card like a rocket, a lightning. So that's why you see that in this deck is here. And I, I think that's more for crowd control. Or if things get rough, you can take out a tower with it. And then the tornado is just in here because this is a very popular card. Uh, you still got the bridge spam out there. So the tornado is very good at pulling everything in, in one shot. Allowing you to either use the rocket or a fireball to just maximum damage you know, the entire crowd. Now, for the second deck, this is a, you know, pretty traditional Golem Beatdown deck with the Pump. Mega Minion's always been part of that deck, and the Mega Minion is becoming Meta Minion again. Uh, very good card. The Mega Minion and the Knight are three Elixir cards that do an incredible amount of damage. Um, they provide great defensive counters, and they also are powerful in offense. So you're going to see those two cards... You know, um, swapped out in decks. And I definitely understand why. Then you got, you see, Elixir Collector, Mega Minion. Then you got the Night Witch, which is still a powerful legendary. You got the Zap, the Lumberjack, the Bandit, and the Poison Spell, which is always incredible when you pair it up in a beatdown deck. Now, uh, for substitutes, right? Because um, I know not everyone has the Night Witch. You can swap the Night Witch out for the Electro Wizard. I've done that before. It works pretty good. Uh, you can even use the Ice Wizard too. Or if you want to go Mini P.E.K.K.A. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. is actually more comparative to the Night Witch. Because you know, it will take out the Hog Rider. And it will do some damage against the Mega Knight. So if that's what you want to swap it out for. Now as far as the Lumberjack. You know the Lumberjack has that Rage spell. So that's a little bit hard to replace. But if you want to swap it out maybe for a Baby Dragon, Baby Dragon still does a good amount of damage. Uh, if you want to put in something that's pretty fast that goes straight towards the tower, then you can always go Hog Rider. But just remember, the Hog Rider is going to go straight for the tower. It's not going to attack anything like the Lumberjack does. And the Bandit, Bandit is a unique card. But if you want to use something similar, it will be a little more expensive, so you could probably use the Prince. Or the Dark Prince, which has actually become a little more popular lately with all the recent reworks. So that's deck there. Now for the third deck, this one here is a little crazy, right? You, um, every time you see an expensive card, you, you have to see an Alexa Collector, right? And that also helps you when you're playing, because if you see an Alexa Collector come out, then you can kind of expect either a Golem or a Three Musketeer. So this deck here is a Three Musketeer Minor Control deck. So you got the Three Musketeers there, the Alexa Collector... You got the Zap, which again is a lower elixir card, lower elixir spell card. The Ice Golem, which has become a very popular cheap tank again. And it's also very good for kiting the opponents. I've seen people cause havoc with this Ice Golem, especially to draw away the P.E.K.K.A. from the towers. Oh my goodness, man, it gets crazy. And it can be infuriating, but it's a tactic. Then you got the Goblin Gang, the Mini Horde, the Miner, which... In my opinion, it's like the most popular legendary right now. I'm not saying it's the strongest, but I think it's crazy popular. You're seeing it in a lot of decks right now because you can really control the tempo with this card. And then you got the Battle Ram, which, you know, believe it or not, Bridge Spam has kind of died out a little bit, but the Battle Ram is still pretty popular. It's a great card. The two Barbarians are very good right now in stopping those um, Golems or... Even, um, you know, if you need to throw it down to aim at an Inferno Tower or, or a, a building. You know, so like the Siege decks, it could help out a bit. I don't know how much damage it'll do because, you know, the Mortar is a beast. And that Expo keeps going, tapping away. All right, so now the fourth deck. Again, you see the Ice Golem. But this time around, you see a couple cards that you didn't see earlier. So you got the Hog Rider, which is... The most popular win condition card right now. And, um, you know, you, you know your win conditions already. This card here, it, you're seeing it so much. Um, it, it's a very tough card. And it's been a topic of debate recently. Some people believe that the Hog Rider should be nerfed or banned. Banned is a little drastic. Nerf, I don't see it because there's a lot of cards that can counter the, the Hog. But... It's a strong card regardless. Then you got the Goblins. Log again. 
the Mega Knight, which is a pretty decent legendary. Unless you're going up against a deck that has a P.E.K.K.A. Then it's shut down. The Zap. The Infernal Dragon, which has been really good. This card has been awesome. I've been seeing a lot of decks too. And then the Fireball, which you've heard me rant about it. I think the Fireball needs a nerf. For four Elixir, that thing does a lot of damage to a crowd. Now, as far as swapping out, uh, most of these cards you should have. The Infernal Dragon, I mean, technically you could put an Infernal Tower, but you're going to lose that mobility and being able to drop down that laser everywhere. But, you know, that's something that you can use. And as far as the Mega Knight, the Mega Knight is good for that drop. You know, you can drop it right on top of a Electro Wizard or a Wizard or a Musketeer and do a lot of damage. So maybe you could put an E-Wiz, but the Mega Knight is special on its own, so that's a tough card to replace. And for the fifth deck, we have, well, it's an Expo Tesla Siege deck. In other words, AKA Dirty Deck. So you got an Ice Spirit, you got an Expo, a Log, Tesla. You see, I don't use these cards. Level 9 and 4. Mega Minion. Ice Golem again, right? Third deck that you've seen Ice Golem. Archers and Fireball. This deck is pretty unique, right? Because you got two buildings. You have two spell cards. You got the Ice Spirit, which does incredible wonders. I think it's the most popular card in decks right now. The Archers do good damage. But basically, you're going to be using the Ice Golem and the Mega Minion as tanks for your Expo. And the Tesla could kind of support it too for the Minion Hordes. And do some damage against P.E.K.K.A.s, right? But we know that from Clash of Clans. Uh, so, those are pretty much the top five decks right now, folks. So, again, in the comment section, let me know which ones you're using. And let me know if you want me to feature one in the video, alright? So, as always, I appreciate the support, folks. If you've watched this video and enjoyed the content, then definitely hit the like button and definitely subscribe for more Clash Royale content. All right? So peace out.